Today we'll be discussing how to treat Peyronie's disease. And if this is what you're looking for, please do stick around until the very end. We'll show you exactly how to get a free, personalized treatment plan to help reverse this condition. Hi, I'm Kelvin, and I'm one of the wellness professionals here at the Nova Center. And I'm Stephanie Wolf, PA and CEO of the Nova Center. Peyronie's is an unnatural curve that may or may not cause pain and discomfort upon erections. Typically, Peyronie's is seen in somebody with a sexual accident or an injury, but can also be caused by inflammation, whether that's inflammation that's caused by diabetes or high blood pressure. But we've also seen Peyronie's develop in patients who have autoimmune disorders, or just quite frankly, it's a genetic disorder. There are a few different treatments for Peyronie's disease. Zyaflex or collagenase is the only FDA approved treatment for Peyronie's disease. The idea behind Zyaflex is it's an enzyme that actually breaks down the scar tissue. But the unfortunate thing is it also breaks down the healthy tissue that surrounds the scar tissue. So I can't tell you how many patients have come to our clinic who've had the Zyaflex injections only to suffer from penile shrinkage. We actually had a gentleman who lost anywhere from one to three inches from having the Zyaflex injection. The next treatment is surgery, and there's three different types of surgery. The first one is called grafting. This is where they remove the scar tissue and they replace it with healthy tissue from another area located on your body. The second type of surgery is called plication. This is where they're removing a piece of the tunica albiginia from the side that doesn't have the scar tissue in order to help straighten the penis. But in the meantime, it also causes penile shrinkage because you're removing a piece of the tissue. The third type of surgery is implants. This is where they're placing a penile prosthetic, whether that's the self-inflatable or it's the semi-rigid implant. Both of them have to be inserted into the corpus cavernosum, which is where they stay. So with the semi-rigid, it's almost like a half dildo, if you will, because it is half rigid. It's plastic, whereas the inflatable one is all on you. You're responsible for allowing it to fill up when you're ready to have intercourse. Another treatment for Peyronie's is mechanical traction. So this is a device that looks quite similar to a penis pump, but you place it on the penis for anywhere from 30 to 90 minutes a day, but you have to do this from anywhere from six to eight months. And the idea of stretching the penis is causing microtrauma so that your body sends new tissue formation and new blood vessel formation so that it can actually start to repair the tissue. But again, you're putting this traction on the penis for anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes every day for the next six to eight months. Then there's in-clinic shockwave therapy. Shockwave therapy uses sound waves or acoustic wave therapy is what other people know it as. And the whole idea is it's going to break up the scar tissue. It's going to tell the body to send new fibroblasts, new blood vessels, so that it can actually start to repair the bad tissue with new tissue. Now this does take a little bit more time in order to get rid of the Peyronie's and the scar tissue. And of course, everybody's different. So some patients may only take three to four treatments while others could take eight to 10 to 12 treatments. But there's no side effects, there's no downtime, and there's no risks to doing shockwave therapy. The Phoenix is an at-home shockwave therapy device. So if you wanna learn more about that, just go to getyourphoenix.com. BPC-157, this is actually called body protection compound, is an amino acid peptide, which is commonly used for musculoskeletal injuries or sprains, pains, but also is known to repair ligament, tendon, muscle, bone injuries. So when you actually think about Peyronie's, there is injury and there's injury to your tunica albiginia, which is this fibrous tissue. So the way that this BPC works is it actually goes in and starts to repair this damaged tissue. It tells the body to send new fibroblasts and new growth factors so that it can actually start to heal and repair. Here at the clinic, we've had great success using BPC-157 with our Peyronie's patients. 
The pea shot. Pea shot uses your platelet-rich plasma, which of course comes from your blood. So we draw your blood, we spin it in a centrifuge, which then separates your red blood cells from your platelet-rich plasma. And your platelet-rich plasma has all your growth factors and your stem cells and your healing properties. So what we do with Peyronie's disease is once we've used shockwave therapy to help soften up the scar tissue, we will then inject your PRP into that scar tissue. And that's going to promote new tissue formation, new blood vessel formation, get rid of that scar tissue. But which of these treatments should you actually do? We don't recommend all of them. And perhaps you don't have the money or the time to do some of them. So we've created an easier way for you. Novus is the nation's leading sexual wellness clinic. We have a 95% success rate in reversing Peyronie's disease because we have a standard protocol for treating patients. For those of you who are suffering from Peyronie's disease, we have three protocols that we recommend. The first is the minimum protocol. Second is preferred protocol. And last is best protocol. If you'd like to skip ahead and get your own personalized program, go to getmyprotocol.com. Now we'll quickly explain the minimum protocol, the absolute minimum our patients need to reverse their Peyronie's disease. In clinic shockwave therapy, or using the Phoenix, following the number of treatments as recommended by your shim score. Penis pumping twice a day for 10 minutes each time during the entire course of your shockwave therapy treatments, and then continuing for an additional six weeks after your last shockwave treatment. Now we can't explain everything here, but if you want a personalized treatment plan for treating your Peyronie's disease and want to get a step-by-step -step explanation on what to do and when to do it, just go to getmyprotocol.com. We've left clinical studies on the topics we've discussed in the description. We hope this helps. 